This video we are beginning an end-to-end -end deep learning project series in agriculture domain. The series will have total 7 to 8 videos in which we'll start with data collection first and then we'll look into model building. We'll also look into some of the ML ops using TF serving. We'll build our backend server using fast API and then we'll deploy the model to Google Cloud or GCP and we'll have Google Cloud functions running on top of it and that those functions will be called by a mobile app re, uh, written in react native so it will be an end-to-end -end application very useful in agriculture domain so let's first look at the problem statement farmers who grow potatoes are facing a lot of economic lo losses every year because of various diseases that can happen to a potato plant there are two common diseases known as early blight and late blight. Early blight is caused by a fungus and late blight is caused by a specific microorganism. And if a farmer can detect these diseases early and apply appropriate treatment, then it can save a lot of waste and prevent the economic loss. The treatments for early blight and late blight are a little different, so it's important that you accurately identify what kind of disease is there in that potato plant. Atlic Agriculture is an AI company that happens to solve problems in agriculture domain and that company has taken this project and they have decided to build a mobile application which they can give it to a farmer and farmer all they need to do is go to their farm and just take a picture of the plant and the mobile application will tell them whether the potato plant is healthy or it has one of these diseases and behind the scene it will be using deep learning and convolutional neural network. Now you are a data scientist working for Atlic Agriculture and your job is to work on this project and to build this whole application end to end. So first you will gather in a room along with your colleagues and you will start discussing the technical architecture. I will take a quick break and talk about Atlic Technologies, which is my brother's software development company. Do you need help with mobile app development or data analytics solution? Or you want to do digital marketing for your business? You can take Atlic Technologies services. They have served many international clients and I guarantee you won't be disappointed with their service. Just click on the contact button here, fill out the contact form or call them directly. Let's get back to our video now. Any supervised machine learning project starts with data collection, data that you can use as a training data set. In our case, we need to collect images of a healthy potato plant leaf and the potato plant leaf which has early blight or a late blight disease. So we'll cover how exactly we're going to do that. But let's say you have covered all these images. Then comes data cleaning and pre-processing step for which we will be using TF dataset and data augmentation. Data augmentation because we might not have enough diverse set of images. So we need to rotate and flip and you know, adjust contrast to create more uh, training samples. Once we have that, we'll use model building using convolutional neural network. CNN is a standard way of uh, doing you know image classification uh, as of 2021 and therefore we'll be using CNN and then export the trained model onto a disk. Then we'll cover some of the ML ops concept using TF serving where we'll have a TF server serving server running on top of these exported models which can serve you know different versions of uh, these models and TF serving will be called from fast API. Now you will be asking why we need fast API and TF serving bo both. Well, don't worry. We will be going over all those things. We can have just a fast API server without using TF serving. We'll cover both the approaches and you will understand the benefit of having TF serving in addition to fast API server. So I will be peeling the layers of onion in a way that you don't get to cry basically so trust me on that then we'll build a website in react js react js is a hot technology as of today uh, for doing a more website app development and that will be calling the fast api server where you can drag and drop the image and it will tell you the label whether it's a healthy early blight or late blight now comes the interesting phase which is 
the mobile app development so first we'll do website development we'll test things out locally on our computer and when we we are ready to go then we move on to mobile app development for that we keep the architecture same up till this point but then we convert these exported float models into tf light model using quantization now i did a video on quantization tf light all of that so you can watch that video but quantization is a way to reduce the size of your model so that your model is occupying less memory you can deploy it on cell phone on edge devices and also the inference speed is much faster once we have exported tf light models then we will deploy those to google cloud and we'll write google cloud functions which are similar to aws lambda if you have heard about serverless architecture and in aws lambda so google cloud functions are kind of like that and then these functions will be serving our cool mobile application so see here in this mobile application you take a picture of your potent plant leave and our application will do the prediction it will tell you if it's a healthy or diseased plant and this application will be written in react native which is a hybrid mobile app development framework now you might be having a question why didn't we deploy tf light model directly to mobile app well we we will cover that maybe in the future video but for this time i want to deploy this model to google cloud and just kind of show you how this whole thing works so yeah the ideal way is to deploy tf light model to your mobile app directly i tried it but i was facing some issues so i went for a different architecture but in future when those issues are resolved i might show upload a different video you know where i'll deploy tf light model directly to mobile app so overall in terms of technology stack for model building we use tensorflow cnn data augmentation tf data set and by the way i have videos on all these topics so if you don't know any of these you can watch it as we go in this pro uh, project at every step i will tell you the prerequisite like what videos you need to watch and so on so don't worry even if you don't know about all these jargons you will be able to grasp this this project really well i promise that as a backend server and ml ops will be using tf serving and fast api in terms of model optimization we are using quantization along with tensorflow lite and for front end and deployment we are using react js for website react native for mobile app development and we are using gcp for our deployment as a prerequisite you need to have a of course basic knowledge of python if you don't you can go to youtube search for code basics python tutorial playlist and in this playlist at least watch first uh, 14 or 15 videos and that should be sufficient another thing you need is a deep learning basic knowledge for that go to youtube code basics deep learning playlist this is a big playlist you don't need to watch all the videos but watch till i would say video number 24 image classification using cnn and that way you know the basics of neural network you know cnn and so on in here you can ignore video number let's say 18 19 20 or even i would say video number 14 to 20 something if you don't watch it's still okay but remaining videos please watch it so that you have your basics covered once the technical architecture is decided the next step in the second video would be to look into data collection and data preprocessing techniques If you are liking this video series so far please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends these kind of end to end projects look pretty good on your resume if you're trying to get a job as a machine learning engineer or a data scientist you can do these kind of projects maybe take my project and customize it maybe instead of potato try to identify the diseases in the tomato plants and i will give by the way those exercises which will be super cool so make sure you watch the entire series and share it with your friends who wants to learn and to end deep learning projects